things. Well, can you do me a favour then? If you are going to fly over the top of our building, could you have a look at the drains as they go around? Of course. To see if there's any blood. Yeah, I certainly Because we will. have to pay somebody to do that. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Barnsley and we're taking a look at this place which on Google Maps says it's called GBI Limited. The sign on the building that says Abbasi Corp and GBI. Two names and the place does look quite new. A little bit of a, a backyard here with the electric gate open. And we have an every trailer on one of the six docks down there. I presume that's goods outwards and goods inwards is there. The bins are outside of the secure compound, which could be secure if the gate was closed. And they do have staff parking inside the compound as well as here so more staff than the unit was really ready for uh, something in the corner there shrink wrapped up possibly just pallets a bit of a retaining wall it seems over there what a nice unit, eh? Very, very modern. So let's have a quick look on the website to see what they do inside. Abyssey Corp and GBI Limited. GBI Limited joined the Abyssey Corp group in 2021 and continues to be the UK leader in licensed pop culture merchandise. Ah, oh, brilliant. We design, manufacture and distribute all our products from Dragon Ball, Disney, Harry Potter, Friends, Pokemon, to ACDC, a catalogue of over 220 active licences across the geek universe of magna, cinema, TV, video games and music. Some of our most famous licences are shown just there. Wow. Who would have thought it, eh? A warehouse full of pop culture merchandise. And selection of the month, they've got just here, Wonka, Chainsaw Man, Revengers. And they even have, now we know what we're looking for, they even have a cardboard cut out. Let's say that. Dragon Ball. Hiya. Can I help you? Sorry? Can I help you? Oh, I've not pressed the buzzer or anything. No, I was just wondering why you're filming the yard. I'm just working out what you do. Why? Um, it's what I do on industrial estates. Uh -huh. I make little videos for YouTube and just show people what's around, really. Okay. Pop culture. No, I'm, I'm just asking, generally asking why somebody would be videoing our building, that's all. Yeah. I imagine you get that asked all the time if that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. But yeah. sometimes I press the buzzer when I can't work it out. Uh, can you imagine what a data centre looks like outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's one over there. Yeah, yeah, that's quite easy to work out, but yeah. sometimes I don't know what it is. And I press the buzzer, I say, what is this place? I know we're not a data centre, so what we do is we no. uh, distribute um, collectibles. Yeah. 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 I've just seen you've got some really big licences, haven't you? Uh -huh. Yeah, we some, have. Some really nice names. Yeah. So, I, I had no idea. You wouldn't have thought it, would you, just from the name? No. So, Pop so culture, what do you do it? with the footage that you've taken? Put it on YouTube to show people what I found today. Okay, oh, so you're just like an explorer kind of YouTuber, this is what I found today. Yeah. Have you got a website? DJ Audits, an industrial estate YouTuber. Oh, fantastic. Some people call it an audit. Yeah. I take the drone over, have yeah. a good look around. I appreciate it if you don't fly over the top of our building, because you need permission to fly over the top of our no, building. No, you don't. This is also a common question. Really? Yeah. The weight of this drone, it's 249 grams. Well, can you do me a favour then? If you are going to fly over the top of our building, 
could you have a look at the drains as they go around? Of course. To see if there's any blocked. Yeah, I certainly because will. Because we have to pay somebody to do that. Yeah, I certainly will. What, you mean where it goes down your downpipe sections? Yeah, so it runs all across the top edge yeah. on this side, on the edge, and on the fenestration on the other side as well. So if, if you, are you going to do a drone over it today? Yeah, yeah. I had a Google Maps 360 degree uh -huh. image as well. Are you doing to... all the buildings up here? Yeah, yeah. I've just done Mercedes, just yeah. done next door. They do bridge repairs. Um, I've not got a card on me. Um, what's it's your... okay. I'll send it to the contact email on the website. No, my email address is... Okay. If you send me a link to a video of the top, because yeah, no this problem. time of year it gets blocked up with leaves and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And um, we had it cleared out about two months ago. Um, but if you are flying over, it'd be really useful. Yeah, yeah. If you, just you could never let know. us know if there's any blockage up there. Be you useful. just never know what's happening up there, do you? No, you don't. And without yeah. the expensive uh -huh. access platforms. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. No, no, I have no problem with you doing that if you do me a favour. Yeah, by all means. All right. That's yeah. the deal. So it's Oh, I'll okay. see it. I'll see it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, have you just recorded everything? Yeah, everything's recorded. Right. Yeah. What's this solar panel for here? I believe it's something to do with um, uh, underground stuff. So um, I think this is reclaimed land over the top of mining. Ah, so monitoring the quality uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, monitoring the. Uh, <laughs> DJ Ordinance. Hello, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet Good you. Nice to see you. Yeah, like Let me give you a keyring as well. My wife's on the phone now. She's a massive fan. Really? We, oh, wow. we watch them all the time. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. That's Absolutely a brilliant. really all nice to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just spoke to your colleague here, and I'm going to have a drone over the yeah. top for us. Have a look. Yeah, brilliant. Any yeah. Uh, any weeds grow in? Let us know. Yeah, we'll That's do. The problem. That's the problem we have all the time. Yeah. This I'm surprised at that because there's not many it. overhanging trees, is there? No, there's no trees and nothing. They have problems with the trees. We've got a we've got a thing going on with the, the um, yeah. Yeah, landlord, the builder, the because we believe there's a fault in the drainage. Right, it's catching right. seeds. Right. So if it catches seeds and it doesn't drain away, then you get growth. Yeah, yeah, top. of course, yeah. yeah. So and we're discussing that with the um, the builders, the building there, because we're having to pay for it to be fixed all the time, and we're like. This, this is a fault, it's not. <laughs> right. Yeah, because it should drain away, but it doesn't. Yeah. We think it's got the wrong interceptors on the roof, but uh, we're we'll trying to sort it. But yeah, cool, thanks. Yeah, nice All one, right. nice Take one, care, thank you. Well, once again, people that have watched the video are very well behaved, aren't they? Nice guys, so we'll crack on, we'll get David up and we'll have a look to see if there's any blockages up on their roof for them. We'll make ourselves useful. Can't really see much through the open shutter. So yes, let's get David up and see what this place looks like from above. Brilliant, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're out of your patch, aren't you? We're yeah, about an hour in. away. Yeah. But I've done loads near Leicester, so I'm, yeah, I'm having to travel. Yeah, moving further and further. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, that's a hell of a sight. I've just done that one. Massive. Yeah. There's so many. From the entrance, Yeah. you can't see any of this. No. Oh, we see it because our offices are above. Yeah. And the, and the vans, they change all the time. You know, what, what's here this week will be gone and it'll be a different lot next week. I don't know what they do. But well, it's used, used truck sales. Is it sales? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've actually got a really good website where you can filter all the different yeah. types of trucks. But even the, you know, even the, the waste trucks and everything. Yeah. I don't think these ones are Mercedes. Are. They're Mitsubishi, aren't they, them three? Yeah. Oh, they have loads in. They have loads in. Yeah. And, yeah, all, all, all sorts of types. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've actually got some Tufnels ones at the back. Tufnels went yeah. bust. Yeah, so they'll have all them. They'll have them for a yeah. bit, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now we've been here about two years now, and um, it's brilliant for us with this size of this building. Yeah. Just did you have a smaller one before? Did you? Well, we've still got the one at uh, Centre Sheffield, um, part, uh, Partwood. But eventually we'll move everything in here, so it'll all be on one site. Yeah. Um, but it. The, the good thing about this is the, the the size of it because of the height for the racking. Yeah. So we've got you know uh, 11 meters height, 
and then the closeness to the M1 for the distribution. Yeah. So we've got every year just over the other side. You've probably seen that, just yeah. the other side. I know, it's junction. massive, isn't it? That's a big place. Went yeah. around there the other week because um, they do a lot of work for us on the uh, on the e-com side. So we're, we're, um, we, we like every at the yeah. moment. So um, how do people buy your products? So it's online. So we've got uh, B2C, so you can, you can just go on our website. You can go on Amazon and buy the products. You can go on um, Wayfair and all those other people. But we also sell to stores. Right. So we sell to Asda, we sell to independents. And on Saturday, we open our new store in Leeds. So oh, for right. the first time in the UK, GBI or Abyss as, as we are, um, will have its own store. Where is it? And we're opening Leeds. Yeah, whereabouts? Uh, Vicar Lane. Okay, and what's it going to be Leeds. called outside? So it's, it's called Full Stuff. Full stuff. So it's it's um, it's part of Abbey Style, and they call it Full Stuff. And they're up there today, um, doing the finishing touches. Some of the girls from the office are going up tomorrow to have a look round, wow. and then the official opening day is Saturday. So just in time there. for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it had to be it had to be open before Christmas. Yeah, nice one. So, yeah, Did you just pronounce Abbey C different? Abbey. Uh, Abbey. Abyss. Oh, yeah. Abyss. 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 Right. So okay. It's, it's Abyss, which is the French company. And we're GBI, so GBI has been going for about 20 years. Right. Um, we started off rolling posters and, and started off actually above a coffee shop. Right. Uh, believe it or not, in Sheffield, and then um, you know, gradually sort of outgrew various premises, and then uh, Abyss took us over uh, just after COVID, um, and they were a lot bigger than us. Right. And then uh, they've been, you know they've uh, expanded even further. Then so a lot of the stuffs from China. But we also make uh, we make the frames for the posters, and then we sublimate mugs, and we do T-shirts and mouse pads and, and that sort of thing that that we do uh, in house. And do you have and a problem? Be here. Do you have a problem with copyright? People copying? It's all licensed product, so it's either you know it could be Harry Potter, it could be uh, Peaky Blinders, it could be Disney. Yeah. A lot of it's um, manga, a lot of it's the anime, the, the Japanese stuff. Um, but now we we just it's everything we do is is a licensed product. Yeah, but what about so if people copy what you sell? Do you know what I mean on the black um, market? Do you get much of that or no, not? No, we don't see that. Right. Um, I mean, it, you know, these are. I mean, we buy in the posters. We don't we don't produce our own posters, but they're to our design. Yeah. But based on the you know, the licenses that we hold. Yeah. You um, hold the rights. So we that's have to for have sure. that. So we hold the rights to the mm. license to do a range of products. And then we get the, the actual design team then create what they want to, you know, what they think will sell. That gets approved by the license holder. And then obviously we pay, um, we pay so much a year for the license and then so much out of every product that we sell. Yeah. Um, so it could be friends. For instance, that's now picked up again. You know, I bet. After, um, yeah. You know, after what's happened. Uh, so suddenly that, that, that goes again. Even and you're out of stock of all the friend stuff? Old. So you've just got to make more. You've Have you? Got, yeah. <laughs> so How do you plan more, though? More posters. Well, you know it's going to be busy at Christmas. You know ahead of, of film releases like Frozen 3 or whatever, when that comes out, you know that's going to happen. Yeah, you get um, a heads up But then there, other yeah. things, yeah, and we do things like um, the World Cup. We did the, uh, the wall charts right. with all, you know, you put all your scores on. So you you know you do maybe fifty thousand of those yeah. um, beforehand, and, and, and they they all go locally. Um, what if so the yeah, that's, that's that you know about some things, but then other things yeah take you by surprise. Yeah, Freddie Mercury for instance, we've got a Queen license. Um, the new you know the, the the film comes out and that's going to going to spike. Yeah, uh, something happens to them, and, and obviously that you know people's interests are peaked again. What if people buy too much from you? Can they return it? Uh, shops do returns. Do um, occasionally, we, we get stuff back. We used to do with HMV. We used to do a lot of work with HMV, yeah. and, and they'd send stuff back. Yeah. Um, it was uh, you know out of season or whatever. But well, that's um, a pain, isn't it? And that can yeah. be that can be a nuisance. We've we've, um, we've stopped dealing with HMV now, yeah. um, but we've got a lot with ASDA, um, a lot with people like Primark, B and M, those yeah. sort of places. I suppose you have to agree to that type of thing just to get in the yeah, door, don't you? Just to get it yeah. gets you, gets you the sales. Um, so you've got to have you know a certain amount that uh, that you, you accept you're going to get back. Yeah. Um, and then damages and things like that you're going to get back. You build it um, all in, don't you? Yeah, it's all all part of it. I can I see like, you you've 
gone onto the main yard with staff parking. So we have we have tends to be staff, uh, the, the office staff at the front. Yeah. And then the warehouse staff on the other side of the gate there. Yeah. Um, so we we've got plenty of plenty of space for more guys because we're, we're taking you know we're we're bringing twenty odd from uh, from our Parkwood site. Uh, and we were talking about that the other day, actually, is there enough car park space for more? And the answer is yes, and, is it? And, and, and we have, generally. <laughs> and a lot of sharing cars. Um, yeah. You know, not everyone drives. Um, so I think some, are, uh, some will meet at Parkwood, as they are now, and then drive up, which is about 20 minutes away. So we, we, we'll, we will be able to accommodate them. And yeah. more and more we're getting people that, are, um, that are, we're, we're taking on, that we're recruiting, that are more local. Yeah. Because uh, not everyone wants to travel from, from Sheffield. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. What was your yeah. name? Jed. Jed, nice to meet you, yeah. Jed. Are you Good a director, you. are you? Or? No, no, I'm just a buyer. Oh, no, a buyer. I just, right. just get involved in, uh, in in most of the site stuff, so the biffer, the, the every, the, the waste stuff, and then yeah. you know buying all the packaging and all the products. The negotiator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. I like your style, mate. Right. Nice to meet you, Jed. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Lots of information there from Jed. That just leaves the roof inspection and our aerial footage. So let's get it done, shall we? So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. GBI. Let's have a look at you then, shall we? So up at 53 meters, Let's have a quick look at the place. There we have it. The yard, the every trailer, on the goods out bay. A few parking spaces down here as well. Now we are on that day with the shaky camera, unfortunately. Well, that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad at all. So the retaining wall holding back, well actually, it just looks like it's an ugly piece of concrete and it's being made to look nice with some wooden cladding. So that's what that is down there. It backs onto fields, look. look how nice that looks. But then we get to the unit itself. Now it does occupy both. No solar panels and unusually no electric vehicle charging either for such quite a new unit. Maybe those regulations came in afterwards. But he has asked us to check the drainage. So normally you have a downpipe there, but I can't see it. I think that is standing water. The down pipe is visible just there. I'm not too sure. But it certainly looks like it's collecting down here. And I would have thought you'd have one at the end. So there's not much that's collected, really. Well, it doesn't look like they're blocked at all to me. Absolutely fine on this section here. Just a little bit collected at the end. And then we'll get into the middle where we have got some leaves collected there, but mostly it's clear. Collecting a little bit there. But surely some gusts of wind will soon clear all that. It's only my ring doorbell, don't worry. I would say these are absolutely fine. What do you reckon? They're not causing 
Any blockages? Where are they? A few leaves around the downpipe sections. This looks a little bit different on the end of the mall. But around the outlets, I think it's absolutely fine. Water can easily get down those. The leaves are not blocking it at all, really. So there we have it, the whole site in one shot. Let's do a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and move on. And that was GBI and Abyssy or Abyss, I forgot what he said. The location of the DJ Audit's key ring on this video is just in the bush here somewhere. Yep, there it is. If you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, well, good luck with that. Yeah, yes, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> you are. That's Yo, key ring. Uh, what was your names? Jake. Oliver. Oliver and Jake. Yeah. yeah. We heard you were here, so we, we have to come and see. You How? How have you heard? So, so lads out of work. On the next one down. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he knew who it was as well. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Thank you. Wow. Word is spreading. How many more people are going to turn up? Are we going to have enough key rings on us? I don't know. But yeah, a pleasure to visit this place, Pop Culture Merchandise. But we learned quite a lot there from Jed, didn't we? The first guy, he knew there was a deal to be had, didn't he? If you have a look at me guttering, you can fly your drone. The drone's going to go over anyway, mate, but it'll be my pleasure to check your guttering for you. Imagine hiring the equipment just to get up there to check the gutters. Because it's a little bit too high to check with a ladder, isn't it? <laughs> All a part of the service, it's my pleasure. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.